Love kills, man. Well, aren't you just a chipper little songbird today? All the time, actually. <laughs> This is DNews, I'm Anthony Carboni. And I'm Lacey Green. A new study from St. George's University of London says that you really can die from a broken heart. Yeah, the researchers who swear that they are fine and they almost never think of Sarah anymore, so just stop asking about her, published a study that says the likelihood of a stroke or a heart attack actually doubles for 30 days after somebody loses a loved one. Now that study focused on the elderly with long-term partners who have passed on, but here's something interesting. Okay. A breakup looks almost exactly like the death of a loved one to your poor wounded heart. FMRI scans of women going through a breakup show the same activities in the cerebellum, prefrontal cortex, and other areas of the brain as someone who is grieving a death. So Johns Hopkins University studies have also found that the body responds to the emotional stress of a broken heart like a physical illness, releasing tons of stress hormones like cortisol and adrenaline and turning up your body's immune responses to almost three times the level of someone actually having a heart attack. And 34 times higher than normal. Their team found 19 patients who had healthy, unclogged arteries had heart attacks that were based on emotional stress alone. They think those huge amounts of stress hormones actually stun the heart. It doesn't kill like a heart attack, but the symptoms are the same. The AMA calls it broken heart syndrome or stress induced cardiomyopathy. And it might just be the saddest thing I've ever heard. It's terrible. Breakups also show the same activity in the brain as an addict being denied nicotine or cocaine. So love activates the caudate nucleus, which is your brain's reward center, by flooding it with dopamine, just like one of those addictive substances does. Which I totally believe. Now, that means that getting over heartbreak is like getting over an addiction. Showing dumped people photos of their old partners actually caused that dopamine release, like getting a hit of something. But then their prefrontal cortex is like, like, hey, they're never coming back. And they get angry and depressed. I mean, it really is like an addict cycle. Scumbag prefrontal cortex. Before you go running into your room with your hands over your heart forever, which is kind of how I feel right now, you should know that all of these physical and mental symptoms last just a couple months. In 30 days, the physical responses start to go away and the mental stuff eases over time. Are you saying that time really does heal all wounds? Well, there's a reason they knit it into pillows, I guess. Do you take breakups hard? No, I did in the past, which is actually pretty dumb now that I realize the jerks that they were. Shout out to my exes. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, sick exes bird. Uh, let us know how you guys take breakups down below and subscribe for more D-News.